Now I can guarantee on this ride, at least once, at least once, he's going to say it's wrong. Because <laughs> unlike most motorbikes, Harley Davidson have decided to put the indicator on the left and the right. That is awesome. Now you said you don't really like the foot position, or it's getting a little bit of getting used to. My knees are quite high. I do feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna give birth. But it feels good. I feel, um, dare I say, more manly. <laughs> That's all it takes, is it, a Harley, to make you feel more manly? <laughs> it's an illusion, obviously. So Nick, what's it like being a vegan? Oh, I quite like being a vegan. It's, it's nice and um, I'm protecting the planet. Yeah, but you're riding a motorbike. Yeah, I know, but that's different. So, there you go. So right off the bat, I just feel like the, the knee position is very high up. But that's just a little bit of getting used to. I feel like my blood circulation might, I might need to stretch my legs. But the seat is lovely. It's very comfy. I mean, I feel like I just need a flask of coffee. <laughs> I'm sure Harley Davidson though do a coffee holder. Look at that, pulling up to a man on a Harley. <laughs> Isn't it nice to get up to 50 without using all the gears? I think I'm still in second. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the good thing about these bikes. You know, you can, you can be in second and third and just cruise. He's coming! Here he comes, the vegan hornet. <laughs> I quite like that, I think I might get a t-shirt with that written on it. Oh yes, brothers in arms. <laughs> Here we go again. Well, my bother slowed down then because there was a petrol station. It, it automatically slowed down. There's obviously some sort of setting. Are we, are we going in? Are we pulling in then? What are we, what are we, what are we doing? Oh my god, how many old people? It's like an open audition for a cocoon here. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be delighted if you'd hit the like button and consider sharing the video. And if you'd like to watch more videos made by the Viking actor, then please consider subscribing. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be informed as soon as I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm very happy to be out today on the Iron 883, which is Harley Davidson's classic Sportster, which hasn't changed much since it was launched in 2010. Now, like Rennie Zellweger in Jerry Maguire, this, this bike had me at hello when the guys at the garage told me that it came with a key fob, which basically means as long as the key is on you, you can walk up to the bike and get on it and just press the button and go. And it also came with left and right self-cancelling indicators. I mean, awesome! How come all bikes don't come with that? The amount of times I've ridden along and forgotten to cancel the indicators. So it's those little attention to details that I really think stand the Harley Davidson out as a manufacturer that really look at catering their bikes towards riders. This bike really does put a big grin on your face. It's a real delight to ride around. And I certainly feel a little bit more special being on this bike. Because let's be honest, we've all heard of Harley Davidson. It's the bike. When I started thinking about getting into bikes, I'd mentioned Triumph to the missus, and she hadn't heard of Triumph. But she'd heard of Harley. It's, it's just one of those iconic motorcycles. And it's iconic for a reason. It has that iconic sound, that iconic thump. And it's, it's nice to hear. Now the 883 also has an iconic clutch in that it's quite a loud clutch. I'll let you hear it, I'll just 
Have a listen. So you're going to hear yourself changing gears? No, I don't mind that. That loud crunch. Actually, I kind of find... Okay, I kind of like it. Oh, what it you? Now the 883 retails for around 8895 pounds in the UK which is pretty much the same figure it retails for in America. Uh, of course, that's in dollars, making the 883 a thousand pounds more expensive to buy in the UK <laughs> than in the States. But what I like about Harley is that everything is adjustable. Everything is changeable. Now, I've mentioned that I don't, I'm not 100% sold on the position of the pigs. My knees are quite high up, and I feel like I may get a cramp. But they change them. I think there's three positions you can move them to, which is great. Now, you may be able to move them to a specific location, I don't know. But I think there's one further back, one in the middle, and one at the front. Now, the one at the front is really comfortable. The only downside is you can't stand up. And on this bike, it's quite easy just to stand up if you go over a bump. Now, if your pegs are at the front, you're not going to be able to do that. So that kind of is a bit of a drawback, because I find standing really useful sometimes to stretch your legs. The other surprising thing about the 883 is its petrol cap. It has no lock on it, which is kind of surprising, which means that anyone basically can walk past your bike, open your tank, and take out your petrol. Clearly they don't have that problem in the US. But what I love about this bike is the look of it. You don't get to see the bike when you're riding, but what you do get to see is the tank. And the tank here is beautiful. I absolutely love how it slightly rises up. And it gives you a, just a great thing to look at. I like the mirrors. I like the simple design of the handlebars and the, the, the speedometer that has the controls on it. It's really very nice. Does it tell you what its, um, what its mileage is as regards to petrol wise? Okay, so let's see what this thing does. So you've got gears and a rev counter. You've got mile trip show you how many miles you've done. The miles in total, A and B, clock. That's it, and gears. So not a lot of info. More than my Herald. Now with the iconic sound, also comes probably the iconic ride of a Harley. As I say, it really does put a big smile on your face. But because it's quite a thumpy bike, it's actually a little bit lumpy as well to ride. Now I notice it's in, in between second and third gear, when you're not quite sure what gear to go in, riding at 30 miles an hour. Is it, is it third gear, is it second gear? And it would judder a little bit. It just seemed a little bit too fast for second and a little bit too slow for third. So that it has that kind of a little, there are moments where it gets a bit chunky. Now, if you're interested in getting a Harley, that's not going to deter you, because that's probably part of its charm. I had a quick go on, on Matt's Bobber, Bobber Black. And it's actually a little bit more expensive at 11,500. It's also a 1,200, so they're not really comparable, other than in look. And the Triumph is a smoother ride. 
but it's not a Harley. I think what I found is as soon as you get on a bike, you know instantly if it's for you. And although getting on this has been exciting and everything I thought it would be, I still remember the Royal Enfield 500 Classic and how I didn't stop smiling. So at 8895, for what is a, almost a 900cc, I feel they've got the money bang on. I feel that's a good price for this bike. And you've always got the option of paying monthly. You can do for 150 a month, which if you're working and earning, which may be a dilemma for most of us in this current climate, makes this bike quite affordable. And you're gonna get a lot of fun riding a Harley Davidson. So all I would say is, get out there, book yourself a test ride, and take out the i 83 You will not regret it. And when you get a chance to park it, outside a coffee shop. It feels kind of fun to walk away from it. So will I get one? <laughs> hey, if I had the money, I would love to own a Harley Davidson. It just has that history. It's an iconic badge. You could say that Harley Davidson are making America great again.